Hello everyone, we are here today at Disney's Hilton Head Island Resort to show you a deluxe studio. This room does sleep up to four adults and has a good amount of space for everyone in the room. Now one thing to point out is this room does not have a particular view. Now there's lots of beautiful views all around the resort here, but you can't book one, it's just kind of luck of the draw. Of course, you can always request one if you have something specific, but those are just requests and not guaranteed. Also, to get to this room, you have to go upstairs. If you cannot go upstairs, make sure you book an accessible room, because that's the only way to guarantee you'll have a room with an elevator to access it versus the stairs. So just something to keep in mind. So let's go check out the room. So here when we first come into the room, we have a kitchenette with a mini fridge that does have a small freezer section. We've got a full size coffee maker, of course coffee and creamer there as well. We've got a toaster, we have a microwave, and we also have paper plates and bowls up here in the cabinet, as well as plasticware down in the drawer underneath and then a small sink there. And then heading on into the room, we've got a piece of art here on the right with a live oak, which is kind of famous here at Hilton Head. We did search through this looking for some hidden Mickeys, maybe in those dots in the trees. We found some that maybe qualify as hidden Mickeys, but I'm pretty sure they're just incidental with the way the painting was created, but that's okay. Heading towards the bathroom here on the right, we have our closet. And here in this closet, you'll find your extra pillows and blankets for that pull-out sofa bed. We've got the closet rod. We have a safe down here on the left, a vacuum cleaner, and a little Swiffer mop, as well as your iron and ironing board there on the wall. Now heading into the bathroom, we have a pedestal sink, so no counter space here with the sink, but we do have a very small shelf up there you can set your things on, as well as the mirror and the light fixture there. I love the wall. They have the textured wall there. We have a cabinet right here above the toilet where you'll find your hair dryer as well as tissues and some extra toilet paper. And then over here behind the door is where you're going to find the tub and shower. So we just have the standard shower head, no detachable heads here. We also have a shower curtain that we thought might have some hidden Mickeys. We did search it though and, and weren't able to find any on this one. And then the tub has the refillable shampoo, conditioner, and body wash mounted to the wall over there. There's also a full length mirror on the back of the door here to the bathroom. Now heading into the main part of the room, we have a door on the left that leads to the one bedroom villa next door. So if you had a two bedroom and it was a lock off, that would be opened up to use both of these rooms. You've got a queen size bed over here for your main bed. And it's got a pretty cool wood headboard there. It looks like it's made out of logs. And then we have a really fun light up there as well. I love the aesthetic here in the room with all the different sticks and driftwood, things like that. It's pretty cool. We also have a second bed in here. It is inside that sofa. It is a double or full size bed in there. And we'll pull that out for you here in just a minute. We've got a mirror up above there as well as another light fixture. And then in between the two beds, we have a nightstand with just a few drawers and a little cabinet on there. There are no outlets, no USB outlets or wall outlets built into the nightstand. And there are also no outlets built into the dresser that is on the other side of the room here. However, we do have a TV above the dresser as well as a Blu-ray player down on the shelf there. And we have a table and a couple chairs over there in the corner. Another really cool looking light fixture there. And another painting that we did search for hidden Mickeys in and we're not successful in finding any. There's lots of hidden Mickeys around this resort. Just doesn't seem to be any here in the room. And then our view outside we have of the courtyard area here. We've got a couple rocking chairs out on our balcony and you can see this is a really good size balcony. For a studio, We've got two rocking chairs. Most studios in the Disney resorts have pretty small balconies, but this one's a really good size. And we've got a nice view of the courtyard here. And of course you can see picnic tables out there and a hammock, a couple hammocks. We've got bocce ball over there. So depending on which building you're in and where you're facing, you could be facing the pool, you could be facing the marsh area, lots of different options here. And of course you can always put in a request for that when you book your room. Just remember that requests are not guaranteed, but they will do their best to accommodate. Now, as we head back into the room here, 
Alyssa has pulled out that double bed for us so you can see how much space we have in here. It is the memory foam mattress, but it's a pretty decent thickness. It's a really comfortable bed actually compared to some of the pullouts that we've seen. And even with it pulled out here, we still have plenty of room in this studio, lots of space in between the two beds. So we don't feel like it's too cramped in here even with that second bed pulled out. And that concludes our tour of this deluxe studio here at Disney's Hilton Head Island Resort. We hope you enjoyed this room tour. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up below and comment with any questions you have. We're happy to answer those. And of course, subscribe to the channel so you know we have even more room tours and resort tours. And if you'd like more information on this resort and the other Disney resorts at Walt Disney World and around the world, make sure you head over to herewiththeears.com. We've got some info over there. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, we're here with the ears.